believed, in the closing years of the 20th century, that our most popular media were being watched in a new way by a force that was quietly gathering strength. With blind confidence, we considered them our own, our audience, our subscribers, our cuddly couch potatoes. With infinite complacency, we blithely segmented and sold them to advertisers. We learned to shape their habits, mold their desires, and give them the illusion of infinite choice. Yet from their side of the screen, with envious eyes, they studied us. And bit by bit, they learned and linked and drew their plans against us. Wielding weapons we ourselves provided. And then, early in the 21st century, came the great unraveling. We offered free choice, but all they heard was free. We devised more powerful, more complete, more feature-rich software, but they preferred to grow their own. They pounced, and they blogged, and they blew the house down. The world we knew was forever disintermediated, whatever that means. They have tasted power, and there are a lot more of them than there are of us. High inside our glass towers, our greatest minds prepare to respond. Well, uh, can't we just start blogging back at them? Well, yeah, but where's the money in that?